Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Night. How the devil are you, mate? How the devil are you? I missed you, eh? I bloody missed you, mate. I'm so sorry that I only uploaded twice last week, okay? I'll be honest with you, it's been... At last week was absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. Um, loads of stuff going on. And also, about the podcast, I still haven't re replied to some of your emails. Don't worry. They're still banked. I will get back to the ones that I want on my podcast. It's just, I, I, I underestimated how much work it would actually be to start up a podcast. I'm still looking for a location. Okay? It's going to cost maximum money. All right, it's gonna, it's um, yeah, it's going to another level because I don't want to half ass it, half ass it, half half ass it. I don't want to half ass it, mate. And the podcast is still gonna happen on Casper Vision. All right, so make sure you go over there, subscribe, and do the thing. Anyway, today we're gonna be looking at some spooky wooky ghost videos from a channel called Goose Pimples. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay, this person deserves it. It's going to another level. This video is called Five Ghost Videos So Scary Skeptics Want Them Deleted Now. All right. So, so scary, skeptics want them deleted. Well, let's just see, shall we? Without further ado, da dilly day. Let's do this. Shh. No one enjoys working overtime, especially Unless not you when you're accompanied money. by something unknown. Facebook page. Ooh. Everyone, what, is this like a new thing now? Everyone's saying a known, known. It's known, right? Judd, paranormal team, posted some <laughs> CCTV footage of a woman experiencing a real life nightmare right in her office. Right in front of her eyes. Maximum green bottles, please. Oh, chairs going, look. There's another green bottle over here. What's up with the green bottles? Sponsored by bloody... What is it? G Gatorade. The chair starts moving gently, like someone is sitting down on it, shifting around cockily. Oh, shit! Okay, that went to another level. Turn around, love! After it scoots Turn backwards around. violently, oh, shit. the woman snaps her eyes up only to see nothing aside from a swaying chair. Did she not think to herself, why is that chair now in the middle of the effing room, mate? Turn around! <laughs> She's like, I'm not having this shit, mate. I'm not having this shit. And why has everyone got desktop PCs and she's only got a laptop? She must be pissed right off. And she's doing overtime. I said she's had enough. Cut to save time while she's having a break. All right. But she is not left alone. Oh! As a bottle oh! is flung onto the floor. Was that a, was that a loud bang? <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do, love. What are you going to do? Investigate? Are you going to run? She's clearly freaked out and has no idea what is going on. But she bravely attempts to continue her work. Yeah, dedicated, until the mate. entity strikes once more. Oh, shit! By pulling her back in her chair. Can you see the grey outline behind yeah. the chair? Brilliant editing or a true... Oh, hang on a second. Did she push herself? behind the chair. Mate, no, Pulling she's Michael Jackson moonwalking it, mate. She didn't push herself, did she? Let's see her arms. Can you see the grey outline behind the no! chair? No! Brilliant editing or a true poltergeist showing itself on camera. She's fucking gone. Know. F the overtime, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. What do you think down below? Number four. <laughs> Number Uninvited four. Uninvited guests. You probably remember Sylvia C. We featured some of her early videos when we first started our channel back in 2021. But the paranormal encounters she captured recently will spark your interest into subscribing to her channel for sure. Let's plunge back into Sylvia C.'s house of hair-raising horrors. Yes! Her story starts show. on the kitchen table, but not any old kitchen table. 
This is one with an open Ouija board session sprawled oh, on top of it. Bloody hell. If you know anything about those things, you'll probably agree that they're bad news. Shit. Now, you might be thinking, surely a board with some letters and numbers on it can't be too dangerous. <laughs> Oh no, mate! Oh no! Don't underestimate the Ouija board! Right. What could it possibly cause? Let's take a look at what she started experiencing in her kitchen after using the Ouija board. Right. Hi guys, it's still there. I moved that can a minute ago. It's moving that... ...something in the cupboard. What's up with this fucking... the quality of this, mate? What is up with that? This is this reminds me of like you know when you at Christmas time and your you, your little your daughter wants sort of like a camera for Christmas. So you I'll get you, I'll get you a camera and you have to get like a Barbie camera or something. This is the quality of a Barbie camera. What's up with your Barbie camera? Oh my God, guys! Is she just doing that with her finger right there? <laughs> She's like, oh God, guys! I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Let's just put the fucking camera down. Let's have a little look proper. Right, step back. This is bullshit. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, we saw that. Okay. Oh god, I'm dying. I can't stand this anymore. <laughs> we can't see a full view of the cupboard door. Yeah, exactly, man. That's what I was thinking. So at first, we were pretty skeptical about it. Anyone could have been laying out of view, slamming the door open and shut. Or just her right hand. <laughs> she definitely sounds distressed. But couldn't that just be some brilliant acting? It, it's not even brilliant acting, mate. I would say, like, borderline average. <laughs> Though the closer we watched, the more we peeled back our eyelids when we saw the can spin on its own. That little twist before it falls could eliminate the chance of anyone blowing out air. And we are zoomed in enough throughout the whole video to be certain there are no strings. Mm. But things were about to become terrifying for Sylvia. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, mate, that double hit. That's a double hit, mate. It's a double tap tap. Tap tap tap. Tap it in. in the kitchen. Oh, mate. Okay, this is going to another level. RUN! Fuck! I need help, guys. I've got something in my kitchen. I don't know what it is. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! I have to move house. I can't stand this anymore. Don't do Ouija boards, guys. Don't do Ouija boards. Don't do UB boards. Don't do UB boards. Sorry. She's this under distress. Happened. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm sorry. But I can tell it to piss off then. Tell it to piss off. Just say, hey! Get the F out of my house, mate. You don't belong here, okay? I'm surrounded in white light. Be gone! Oh my god. Oh shit. At first, the cam- Fucking, he just scared the shit out of me. At first! <laughs> the camera angle seems to obscure the top of the cupboard. But then the camera pans up to show us no mechanism attached to the cupboard door. And that same cupboard door surely moves in both directions while the camera is close enough to show us no strings attached. It is flapping Don't around, do mate. Don't a Ouija board, guys. 
Don't do a Ouija board, she said. Should we take her advice? Don't do a Ouija board. A don't do a Ouija board, right? If you can't, uh, don't do a, a Ouija, a Ouija, a Ouija. Go deeper into what can happen when you mess around with a planchette. Nice and moving. Is that a fucking knife, mate? Get, get, run! That's gonna fly at you, mate! Mum, get out, stay out there! The knives are gonna go flying, mate! Uh, would you stand there and record it? When there's five knives about to catapult across the kitchen? No effing way! Shit, mate. Ghost is out just like that. Tap. Tap, tap. Just looking at her with his beady bastard eyes. Oh, look, 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 mate. Okay, this is quite legit. This is quite legit. Whatever is in her kitchen seems pretty drawn to the pans. The pan just flipped upside down too, the lid. But pans are the least of her concerns. The poltergeist started messing with the knives too. Mm. Guys, that nice moving. Huh? Went, oh fucking hell, he's going for the fucking teacup now. Oh my god. He's trying to kill me now. Well, fucking get out of there, man. While we spotted a tiny jump cut in this video, oh. as you can see in slow motion here, it oh. doesn't eliminate the possibility of a video processing glitched, caused by how far she turns the camera to follow the knife. We still can't explain the pot lid though. Was it though? Was it? It must have had some force applied to it, and someone must have touched the knives too to make them move in the first place. But who? Was that? Was that a little cut? Whoever is haunting her kitchen can't seem oh, to get enough. Did that fucking knife? Is that a knife flew out, mate? I missed that. Of playing with the knives. Knife was moving like mate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Knife's <laughs> moving. Oh, fucking hell! Why would you stand there and record it though? Oh, guys. The next clip really got our commenters talking, as the strange movements throughout her kitchen looked extremely hard to achieve with common tricks such as strings, software masking techniques, or leaf blowers. Hi guys, I've just put the camera on, there's quite a bit of activity tonight in the kitchen. Keeps banging that cupboard door. Oh shit, I hate it when it goes faster! Imagine if it just went tap, 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 it's like, oh god, I don't know what I know is going on. But like, is that what people, how people react? I don't know. But then he's saying about the cut scene. I don't know. What do you think? Is she gonna cry? It's like she's building up to cry. If you're gonna cry, just fucking cry. If you're not. Do you want me out of this house? Do you want me to stay? The pot isn't moving again. I 
happens so all the time, it just happened all the time. I don't know what to do. Bless the house. People began referring to the spirit as evil and asking Sylvia C if she knew anything about the history of her home. She responded that her house was built above an old coal mine. Could this entity be the spirit of a vengeful, suffering coal miner? Because it certainly seems angry at her presence. Shit, so put some pasties around there, mate. Put some bloody pasties around there. Be be happy. Cutlery's moving. <laughs> Spirit in the kitchen. Is there anything else you want to move tonight? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear any of that. I heard Spirit in the kitchen. That's pretty much what I heard. And there's something tonight. Why are you. Uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. All right, okay. We're, we're, we're communicating. Right, so now say, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to set you free? The activity remains stuck in the kitchen. While there could be something behind these videos, it seems almost impossible for the utensils to fly across the room as they did. And who keeps fiddling with all the pots? It can't seem to leave anything alone. It even started switching TV channels. Is he in the microwave now, look? Put shit in the microwave? Is he gonna put something in the microwave? Go on then, mate, that only needs a minute. Oh shit, mate, it's proper poltergeist activity shit going on here, man. You might remain a little skeptical of the cupboard door here because of the angle. Anyone could be on the floor moving it. But the way things got dragged around the microwave feels too natural to ignore. And as we can see in this next clip, it doesn't stop there. Mate, what the? Maximum activity, please! I can't get over how much shit is going on in here. Is he just putting the bloody kettle on? He bloody has, he's put the kettle on. He's bought the kettle. Mate, something's going on in this place, for sure. At first, I was quite sort of like, nah, this is bullshit, but I don't know now, mate. Look! And now the other pot. But why would a ghost do this shit? Why? When it's not even being like watched, 
Why would you do this? I wonder if things like this, like, I wonder if ghosts could be just a build up of, like, energy somewhere, you know? Like, on Earth. There's a build up of weird energy that just it interrupts with just stuff, mechanical stuff, or, you know, just, I don't know. Imagine it's like a sw invisible swirl of energy, just pockets around the world, and people think it's it's paranormal. It's not. It's just a phenomenon, you know. What if she, her house is literally just built on something, which is, I don't know, some magnetic charges and stuff swirling with electricity and and thanks. It's also turning the kettle on now. So what's going on here? It seems to me this place person wants to clean up. It, maybe it's just pissed off. It's just like, I'm pissed off at this place. Got fucking bread hanging out everywhere. Cups, crockery, all over the shop, mate. Nothing's wiped down, right? Just pissed off, slamming doors. He's like, hello, push it away. It seems like hello? more of the same. No idea why on earth these doors keep swinging. It's just that but one it won't door won't stay though. the same for long. Soon, other items started to move on their own too, making the weird paranormal activity even more unexplainable. Come on, guys, because that, that plate's moving. That plate. What plate? It's one, love? Go to in the kitchen, case it comes. What fucking ramble it? Can you see that? That plate is moving. Oh my god. Fucking hell! Okay, listen, I take it all back, mate. Right, you, you, you've got perfect reason to be fucking sniffering and crying, right? Perfect reason. F forget about me, mate. Right, just get the F out of there. Why did you do that? Would you go close to that thing? It's probably going to smash it across your face in a minute. In the kitchen, don't, please don't, don't throw a knife. What? Don't stand next to it then! She's like that. Please don't don't throw the fucking knife. Please don't throw it. Please, I, I, I won't be able to, to dodge in time if you throw it. Please don't throw the fucking knife. <laughs> shit. Oh fucking hell, mate. That just scared the shit out of me. Her face. Can you put a string through ceramic materials such as a plate without breaking it? Then, how the hell is that plate moving the way it is? She keeps moving the camera, making it extremely hard to use software masking techniques and fake the whole thing. If you can debunk this one, please feel free to explain it down below. Commenters warn Sylvia C that this entity is becoming more and more aggressive though yeah. and that she needs to seek help in communicating with the spirit for her own well-being. But while she suffers, the entity just keeps on having fun with its new toys, the plates. Come on, come on. Mate, uh, maximum video please! <laughs> Nice lighting. Fuck! Look! Again, no idea how these plates are flying around, but they're flying right towards Sylvia's sea. As are the knives. Shit in hell, mate. Look, there's another knife here, look! Here! Thank <laughs> you. 
See, that's a plastic pot. And that knife had to that had to have g gone up slightly. If it if it was string, it would have been pulled that way and the plastic pot would have come with it. But it didn't. It just went flew up out. This is this is quite crazy. It's crazy. It might be Jack. Jack. Fox, I'm making some fucking soup. This entity seems to be taunting whoever is watching it. It's almost putting on a show. In it. What the hell, man? This is crazy. Look at the way the red and blue tins move sporadically in all directions. This can't be the work of strings or motors, right? This is quite weird. This is, I, I must admit, this is actually quite strange. I know I'm taking the piss, but... This is actually really quite, mm, don't know, quite suspicious as in like, it could be legit. I'm thinking this could be legit. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I'm quite a skeptic, but the proof's in the pudding on the title. We said this will make skeptics want to be taken down. My skepticism is being hit right now. And who is putting enough pressure on the lids to make them fly like this? Recently, we've had someone in the comments mentioning that they've never seen something actually levitating, only being thrown around. Oh, really? Let's have a look. Now, pay close attention <coughs> because it's your lucky day. Here we go then. Here we fucking go. How is that fork no levitating? No fucking way. There must be something pretty powerful occupying Sylvia's kitchen. Sylvia, will you stop looking at the camera like that, mate? It's freaking me right out. Hey! Like every now and again, it's just like fucking what? That levitating spoon, mate. There is no spoon. Spoon in the kitchen. What do you want? Why are you moving the key? Tell me what you want. <laughs> oh god, why is it doing that? Oh god, it freaks me out. I'm scared. The camera is continuously moving here, and we get a I, full view of that cupboard door moving on its own. The entity seems to be messing with the keys now. Could it be a violent way of telling Sylvia C get to get out. out? That seems to be the case when we watch the next clip. Jesus Christ, Miss, she can have her own movie! Guys, I just turned the camera on because I saw things moving again. I saw the cans moving. Where's the cat at, at, at this particular time? Like, wh why is it not sort of like warning you? That cupboard's moving as well. Whiskers.
see, when I had a cat when I was younger, I was always told, don't give your cat whiskers. Right? Give them cheap shit. Because they'll eat anything, right? Give them cheap shit. Because if you start giving them expensive stuff like whiskers, if you start then and say, oh, I can't afford whiskers at the moment, so you just give them cheap shit, and they look at it and they go, fuck off. Where's my bloody whiskers, mate? And they won't eat it. And then they'll F off to another person's house. So always start giving your cat crap, cheap ass food. Still food, they'll be fine, okay? Just don't start them off with whiskers because they'll never go back to like anything cheaper. Tip of the day, if you've got a cat. I haven't got a cat, but. Do you want me out of this house? Please move that one of them cans if you want me out of this house. Cupboard just keeps moving. Stop moving that cupboard. Yeah, yeah, you tell sure. him. It, her, whatever. There's no wind, there's nothing there. There's no wind or anything getting in there. Keeps moving. Do you want to? Do you want me to stay in this house? What does that mean? Does it mean you want to go? Just... Oh, cat's pissed off now. You saw him playing around with his food. Hey, right, now it's pissed off. Stop doing that! You love it! Stop doing that! You're freaking me out! He's trying to hide. Even the cat tries to hide from the poltergeist. You can hear the cat hiss and growl as it runs away, clearly sensing something is wrong after seeing the tin being thrown. And soon, thrown. Thrown. Not thrown. Thrown. The cat starts focusing on the paranormal activity in the kitchen. Cats have extremely heightened senses, so they can sense paranormal activity a lot quicker than we can. And this kitty seems to notice when the entity in Sylvia's house was getting upset at the time they were sharing in there. Cat looks like a bloody shadow bastard. Look at it. Shadow bastard cat. Adorable. I'm going to excited to share with my cat. You're a beautiful boy, aren't you? Oh shit, get the cat out of there, mate. It's going to fall on his head. When she starts paying attention to her cat, the pots begin to shake again and things begin to slam. It wants her, doesn't it? The, the spirit wants her, mate. It's jealous. Could this be jealousy? Whatever it was, it made the entity stronger. You want to get yourself a boyfriend, love? Piss him right off. Piss him right off. I couldn't live with that, mate. I couldn't fucking live with that shit. Every day. Be f things thrown at me. Left, right, centre, willy-nilly. I'll, 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 I'll be so pissed off. The actions have become so violent and Sylvia C sounds generally terrified. 
That pan lid looks like it's angrily smacked off the sideboard, but there was no one there. Like, it does. Why is there no, like, home delivery sort of takeaway food boxes everywhere, mate? I would have maximum home delivery because I ain't going to that kitchen and fucking cooking. No effing way. Well, you. I say that. I would fucking ramble it. I don't give a shit. But you know what I mean? Like, most people, right? It should be full up with takeaway food. Look, more would you more fucking cook in, in that place? Kitchen start jittering, shaking, and moving on their own. Sorry, guys. This is camera on again because it's the kitchen happening again. But please for me. What the fuck, man? Oh god. Look, it's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying, it's gonna go, it's about to fly off at 25,000 miles an hour, and you're putting your fucking eyeball next to it, love, you're gonna get hurt. Shit! What's that squeaking as well? It's like the game Visage. Hear it? Done it again. It seems weird that the washing up rack is moving like someone is pushing it along the side, not afraid to break anything. The way the draw shot opened in front of her is almost terrifying, as the events all seem to be aimed towards hurting her. After a slight break, she came back a few months ago showing the poltergeist is still active as ever, but while she was away, something must have happened as we can clearly see her relationship with the spirit developing. She captured things we've never seen before, including a moment that made some viewers say that they believe the spirit has a crush on her, and apparently there are even flowers involved. What? You've got to see it, so make sure you head over to Sylvia's channel from the link in the description of this oh. video and subscribe because the activity she captured recently is pretty intense and you don't want to miss an upload. Oh. Number 3. Deadly Drives Be careful. I, I, I begin, I started to forget about the other fucking top threes, twos, ones. Car in front. Is a Toyota. Careful not to leave your car unattended, because some ghouls might want to jump behind the wheel. Oh, sorry, I missed that. What? 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 What are we looking at? Someone's just left the handbrake off, mate. Someone's just left the this handbrake. This video, uploaded by Stomp, shows a Singapore ghost taxi ran through a barrier and nearly hit two passerbys. Someone left the handbrake off. Luckily, it wasn't going too fast, or that could have been nasty. Meep, meep. Could this be a paranormal attempt at a hit and run? Uh, uh, no! No, it's not, mate. This is in the movies. Ghosts don't just hijack cars and start driving them off. No. Someone left the bloody handbrake off. Move on. But it isn't just taxis going AWOL. Bikes can do that too. Both these supposed spirits have a need 
for speed that is actually uh when i was younger uh, we used to do that they're called ghosties you go you go on a bike really fast and then you jump off the back and let it go and it will just it'll ride on its own for bloody ages mate someone's just ghosted a motorbike they've probably fallen off or missed and they've just let go of it and it's just drove off that's just called but a ghosting it's a ghosting real or fake it's not let fake it's just happening mate it's just happening someone's just let their bike go off by accident and that's his mate there probably trying to rescue it comment and while you're at it don't forget to bump the like button and subscribe to avoid <laughs> debunk the last two mate like a fucking pro ah! missing our weekly spook fest Number two. Number two. Shadow bastard. Hey, that's twice you're using this now, aren't you? Hey, look at you using my phrase, shadow bastard. It's fine. You can have it because you're a bloody legend. This clip will make you reconsider that job application shadow for bastard. the night shift. This security guard was doing his usual patrols, but there was somebody unexpected following right behind him. Oh, it's magic, you know. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. F you, mate. Let's. Oh, God, we're going to see a replay. I don't need to rewind it. Man. Mate, there's nothing this up there. This place was already creepy enough. Oh, my fucking God, God, mate. It was a proper. It was a proper. What the hell? This place was already creepy enough. Look about... at it, mate. Look at it. And a proper head, neck and everything, man. Going about on. Shadow bastards stalking around the halls. Shadow bastards. But this one couldn't resist making a cheeky appearance. Number one. Number one. Freaky pub. Freaky deaky pub. Sometimes certain buildings house a lot more history than others. And British pubs see a lot of people walk in <laughs> and out of their doors. Nick Bevan, the owner of the pub The Bassa Villa in Wolverhampton, said he thought he had been burgled when he stepped into this pub one morning. But when he checked his CCTV footage, he realised that he was far from the truth. Oh shit. You can't see, can you? Nick told news outlets the gruesome history of oh, the yeah, building. Oh, you can see it now. There was a... Basically, all, all, all the glasses have fallen over. Well, not all of them, a lot of them. Well, in the basement that two children were rumoured to have drowned in years ago. He... Look, look, can you see... Okay, hang on one second. He says that okay. unrelated to the recorded incident, he has seen ghostly figures walking around and seen things fly off the shelves out of nowhere. But... He always assumed it was just his imagination. Until now. Get the merch at Caspersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go. That was Goose Pimples. That was a really good show, man. That was really, really good. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. Really good. I enjoyed it. Entertaining. Anyway, mate, if you liked it, how about leaving a little like? And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.